Hey guys and girls, so welcome to tutorial number 8 of the basic uh, game maker tutorial tank game uh, capture the flag style. So in this tutorial what I'm going to be teaching you how to do is create a base, create a flag, uh, pick up the flag, drop the flag when you touch an enemy and destroy the tank when you touch an enemy and reset it to a starting position. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our base sprite. So we're going to click a new sprite. We're going to call it SPR underscore base. We're going to edit sprites, file, create sprite from strip. And what I've got is a whole, an image created in uh, Photoshop nine images next to each other uh, which will be compiled into an animated GIF number of images as I said was nine nine in the row uh, I'm going to make it 64 by 64 as I want it bigger than my tank sprite and I'm going to click OK show the preview and that's what I've got and click that Okay, you can use any image for the base, it doesn't have to be an animated GIF, it can just be a GIF of a, a plain squared base, and you just do that as by loading a sprite like we're going to do with the flag next. Uh, I just like doing this because it's just slightly more, it looks just it just looks better. So let's click OK on that. Hmm, actually we might want to... Look, it is quite fast. We might drop the speed down actually, and let's try the speed at 10. Yeah, that's better. We'll leave it at 10. Okay, good. Click OK. So the next step is to uh, create a flag. So I've created a little flag in Photoshop. That you can find some free on royalty free graphic sites. Um, so I'm going to create a new sprite, call this uh, SPR underscore flag, and I'm going to load a sprite and open uh, the SPR flag icon that I've created. Uh, I'm going to center that and click OK. So we now need to create the objects to attach our flag sprites to. So the, very quickly, just click the uh, object icon, call it obj base underscore base, uh, and attach the sprite base to it. And click OK. Click the new object again. Call it obj underscore flag, and attach the flag icon. Okay, the flag sprite. So we've now got a base and a sprite. And what we want to do now is program uh, those objects. But the first thing, the very first thing we need to do is put them into our room. So I'm going to open my rooms and go to level one. I'm going to go to objects. I'm going to go to obj flag and I'm going to place it in the corner of the screen. I'm going to select obj base and I'm going to put that at the top of the screen over here. I'm also going to make sure that my tank is in the right place. Tidy that up later. So now we can start testing, um, sorry, configuring all our actions and events for being able to pick up the flag and uh, end the game when we touch the base and destroy uh, the tank when it touches an enemy. We're going to open the obj flag and start to program some flag events. So we're going to add a create event and we're going to add a set variable, control set variable. So when the flag is created, so when the game starts, um, we want this variable, which is going to be called flag carried to be false. So a boolean value, 
um, of false, which uh, means that the flag is not carried when the game starts. The tank isn't carrying the game because it hasn't got to it yet. Hasn't touched it, hasn't picked it up. Click OK. And we're ready to move on to carrying the flag. So we're going to add a collision event. And it's going to be when it collides with OBJ player. We want it to be able to pick up the flag and change that variable. So again, we're going to have a set variable. And that set variable is going to be a flag carried. And that's going to be set to a value of true. So when the flag uh, when the flag is touched by the player, it will change that variable to be true. We're going to add a step event, and step event we're going to add a test variable. I'm going to say if flag carried is true okay we're going to want it to do something we're going to want it to run a, a code block so we're going to bring in the first bit of our code block and then what we're going to do is add a jump to under the move tab a jump to position and it's going to be obj underscore player x dot x and obj underscore player dot y um, and it applies to itself so that's all fine so what that does is it jumps the flag to the middle of the tank so as it looks like it's being carried and then what we can do is under the control we can just end that piece of code okay so that's that bit done Okay, so we are going to create um, the part where the tank touches an enemy, it will actually be destroyed. So we're going to open OBJ player, add an event, and we're going to add a collision event. And when it collides with OBJ enemy, we want it to do some stuff. So the first thing we want it to do is create uh, an explosion effect. So we're going to use a create effect, explosion, uh, do a small explosion, pick an explosion color. So we're going to have red. Okay, uh, the lower obstacles is fine. Good. So that's that. Click OK. We then want it to jump to the start position. So we want the tank to recreate at the start position. So we're going to move and have it jump to start. Okay. And we actually want it to drop the flag. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in. Um, a little bit of code to be able to uh, drop the flag. So all we're going to do is go to uh, control set variable and it's going to be, it's not going to apply to itself, it's going to apply to the object that it's carrying which is the obj flag because that's where the, the variable is stored and we're going to say flag carried is going to equal false and that should drop the flag when we touch an enemy. Click OK. Um, so far so So now what we want to do is um, we want to wait to end the game. So to do that, what we're going to do is we'll just click OK on that. And we're going to open our OBJ base. And we're going to add a collision event. And when it collides with the flag, so when the flag is returned to the base, um, we want it to... Uh, end the game so under main tab 2 you see this little icon which looks like a power button and there we go end the game okay and i think we are pretty much there so what we can do is we can test our game and see if it works so let's try the explosion okay so it did destroy the tank and it did reset it to the start position but we're not getting that explosion and oh, I know why so I'll show you why now if we end that 
down. Go back into OBJ player and on the collision event with OBJ enemy and the create explosion, we want to set it to relative. So let's give that a go. Test. There we go, so we've got our, our explosion now. Um, we want to test the flag, so if the flag works, so what we can do is we can just close that, open our level, and what we'll do is we'll actually just for ease of testing, we'll select our tank and we'll move it down here where the flag is, and then we'll just test again. So can we pick up the flag? Yes. What happens when the tank is destroyed? Yes, we reset and it does drop the flag. So perfect, job done. Uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.